and welcome to Zero to Hero Part 11. Uh, last time out we hit level 62. Um, between episodes I've just crafted a new tome that was going to become obsolete in two levels. So that's going to do us until we hit level 70 at least. Um, let's just collect our daily reward, gemstone selection. Um, we'll pick up the daily quests, Extreme Prejudice, which is map one. Ambush at the bones again, and smoking them out, so that's an annoying one on PC. Um, let's open our gemstones, let's see what we got. Uh, let's do the yellow one first, just because it's going to drop into place. Um, do I have to drop anywhere? No. Okay, so um, we'll start off with the daily quests. The next story quest is High Road, level 65. So I might go and try some trials just to get a few levels. Um, extreme prejudice that's extreme prejudices kill a bunch of healers isn't it sisters of ragadam um, let's not do that just yet then on its own that's going to happen naturally as we just play so we start off with stones and bones like the fire kill everything we'll just let arcane bolts obliterate everything they're quite slow moving so you end up casting more than you need to so this quest has turned quite easy for us just stand there and auto attack now. I'm semi tempted to go and look at trial seven, which might be a completely daft idea because um, those are going to be level 70 enemies. And I'm saying I don't want to go and do story with level 65. Um, maybe we'll run Troll 6. Give that another whirl. Uh, so this is going to give us another level. For turning in. And we might as well do the Reptile 1 as well. Let's see if it's easier to light the fires this time. One lit. Two lit. <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> Okay, they're all lit, so we can just go and stand around here somewhere and let everything run to us. Is that the last group of elites? Yes. Okay, we're done there. So we can turn that one in. That's not going to give us a full level. And we're at 161, so these cap out at 10,000 gold and 200,000 
experience at level 70. Um, let's go and run. I'm really tempted. <laughs> let's see what happens. So maybe we can go and run that story. Ooh. It will depend on what the boss is like. wind spirits so let's make use of that not exactly going for speed just going for the run to see how it behaves um, can we pull in a fair amount of them It's going to be a terrible place to fight the broken dragon. Let's hide around here. <laughs> Actually, I don't need to stand all the way back. Oh, that went down a lot easier than I thought it would. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. Um, so what have we done? We've hit... 64 we're only one behind on story now and we've completed extreme prejudice along the way uh, so i will be more than happy to continue with story then for now um as well troll seven random set item that is going in the stash along with this other random set item that's two that we get to open at level 70 now. And what have we got here? Salvage stuff. I will sell those extra apples. Uh, yes, we want to salvage rares. So onwards with the story as we progress that's a very very long map that could be interesting i haven't f had a proper fight against garm in story mode ever i think <laughs> when quests were introduced um, I was already quite a few thousand champion levels in, or eight, over a thousand. Um, the I don't know if the bug's been fixed. You can knock on those doors before collecting the quest to knock on them. And if you've done that, then you can't knock on them again afterwards. I should have tested that with the very first one. take this route there's enough to just do one side of these <laughs> the other thing I don't like with this map is that it doesn't display correctly if you pull up the mini map it's just too long Like 
Ugh, we can do that, but you can't zoom in. <laughs> it vanishes. Okay, let's just get the through and get the quests done. Now, normally I'd just run here, drop a frost over, and go and shatter the, all these down. <laughs> Obviously, we're not yet a hero, although we have some heroic things that's helping us. just because there's only a few of them up that side there's a chest along here so we'll take that yeah, they're going down easily enough See what these are like if we round them all up and beam them as a group. Except, of course, I hit the wrong button and I don't have Eileen alive to assist with matters. Oh, they're going down easily. And then of course because it's such a long map it takes forever for everything to fly to you from the other end. Every time you think, is it finished? <laughs> it has now. Um, high road, turn that in. Defeat trial 20. <laughs> Yeah, we're a way off doing that. Uh, Legacy of the Dragons. This is going to be interesting. Ooh, nice. So again, that's a version of Deirdre's Resolve. It's the same sword as we're sort of running, but a legendary one. Yes, we're definitely doing this. It's, um churn in all this stuff sell the greys salvage the greens flames of rebellion is done and another level we're almost at 70 It'll be very interesting seeing how the Garm fight goes on this. Hopefully a lot faster than all our other boss fights that we've had so far. I'm thinking back to the Elben travesty. <laughs> Keep forgetting I can just run around. I guess there's a few things we can talk about on this map as we go along. So this gate is locked. We have to go and kill the robot thing that's a gatekeeper and that's supposed to act as a tutorial for other locked doors. It doesn't work very well as a tutorial. So that's the thing that briefly said key master as the type of enemy so that has caused this door to open the next one I'm not going to bother with going to the key master and tracking back there's a collision detection thing that means we can just <laughs> just go and get this chest anyway 
Ooh. The key master for that's just over here. If I went down here and killed him, this gate will open. Or I can just walk around the top and through the wall for whatever reason. Um, if we kill him there, now we see the gates open. So you see the right and wrong way of doing that. I might as well do the other chest even though it's a bit of a backtrack from the key the final key master. So key master for this one is down here. And there's also a bug that I don't think is fixed yet. If you crash, come into the game, kill him, it doesn't recognise the locked door process anymore and you can't get through this gate. Not that you're missing out on much. Let's see how many of these we can tank. Probably not that many, but let's just pull them in and beam them away. Oh, we're out of combat, that's good. Those can wander off to wherever they were. So this carnival cape type thing that we picked up is actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's the sort of thing that's utterly useless when you're higher level or you've got all your level 70 gear together um, because diminishing returns on critical rating would mean that those little procs are absolutely useless but while we're low level and we we're not geared up it's actually really useful giving us extra critical damage uh, rating so increasing our crit chance not a great deal but a bit Also like running this level if I've been gold farming on Drake and Moore is it Drake and Moore? No, I can't remember. The third map on this world, Darkhold City Dell. Um when your ex gold booster, if even if you've only got a, a second or so left on it, gold in these chests is calculated when the map loads not when you open them if you start with a gold booster all the gold in the chests is going to be determined as though that booster is still active even when you arrive at them a few minutes later so you can actually pick up an awful lot of extra gold just by coming in here with one second left on a gold booster and running this map it's definitely not efficient for gold farming this map but it does drop probably the most gold from any of the maps that I've seen we've got three chests at the end as well um, everything's on off cooldown uh, Sagam so we've seen in trials all his attacks or are poison so basic spit puts a poison damage over time on you um, the closer you are 
it'll only do one spit the further away you are there's three that come out which are harder to dodge um, and it does another attack with a flame breath or poison breath um, there'll be a it will just be an arrow appear on the floor of the direction that it's going to be which will be directly at you but you can move aside from that at the same time as that if you're standing really close there's a red circle that appears around him um, which will knock you back a long way and stun you um, and if you happen to do that and get knocked back and stunned in the path of his poison breath you're absolutely death dead uh, it's got a ring of poison that comes out as well that extends a very long way um, so to deal with all the poison there are two fields that he places on the floor there's a blue field we are lagging here um, the blue field is a healing field it removes all poison stacks on you it's very good um, and then there's a red orangey one which is a damage increase um, which I'm probably not going to make use of wow the performance is tanking what's going on <laughs> so this is the blue healing field which means that 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 ring of poison would just wipe you out otherwise let's Ah, he does a flying attack as well. I forgot about that one with the red circles that would uh, instantly kill you. This is really hard because it's a couple of seconds, or it's at least half a second after I click before the character actually moves. Or does anything. So let's anticipate. <laughs> I can't dodge those because the performance is a nightmare. Uh, where's the blue? There. I'm going to beam him down. Okay, we survived. And the performance is still awful. <laughs> I'm going to restart. Actually, I need to. There's a lot of materials. Let's clear out inventory. And then I can restart the video. What's that? Not going to take that. Um, clear inventory, that is painful to click and then have to wait that long, I'll, what is that, no, click wait half a second move, not good. Let's get the rest of that loot and we can get out right before I do anything I'm restarting the video and we are back with actual responsive controls um, so legacy of the dragons three gems 85,000 experience dragon spawn is going to give us a very nice sword so we'll complete that um kingmaker i'm looking how long have we got left about six minutes uh we shall do morgenheim then um so we'll equip that i'll keep hold of that one that will go into our uh pile of things that are going to bulk salvage in the hope of improving our chances of mark of titans so that can come down here uh, we can sell 
too many greys that drop these days. So I think Morgenheim will finish up today's episode. This is a fairly good map for gold farming as well. Ah, why did I recraft? If we're going to get this, I wasted. That said, the tome that I had was 54, so it's already would have been out of date. Did we get that open? Yes. So loot five chests in Morgenheim can also be a daily quest come the end of completing story. Um, do I want to run everywhere? No, there's plenty of enemies that are going to be up here and chests. So there is another chest down this way. spawn these skeletons and these ones oh. yeah, I don't need to beam Griswold to death he's on our side doing all the work By all the work, I mean none of the work. Uh, let's be crazy and pull everything. Oh, no, that's a bad idea. I keep forgetting that my companions what level are they? They're not too far. Okay, they're, they are quite a way behind. <laughs> they keep dying and I don't have access to Vortex when I'm rounding up a load like that. I need to remember this. <laughs> now this Rakshaw used to die instantly now takes or he's a lot tankier than he used to be Maybe one more wind spirit proc will put him down. <laughs> uh, so let's talk to Griswold. Continue. It said inventory full. So I've probably got to run back in here. Let's sell the grey items. Ooh. Let's see what I've got left behind. One thing. Um, so. Level 70 shoulders coming our way very soon. 
Um, reclaim their wealth is done. Ah, completed some season things then. Um, delete 2000 elite creatures and expert crafters crate. We'll take that. Um, might as well get rid of that and equip that. Unsock it. Does that fit in anywhere else? No, it doesn't matter. So we are up to level 67. Actually, there is probably one more thing to do. Um, season level 10 has passed, so let's collect those and see what we got. Large treasure, gemstones, currency booster. Um, is there, let's put the currency booster there. Ooh. Seriously, you want me to salvage everything before I can even open that. That's interesting. So we've got an additional daily um, which I think we'll cover in the next video because we're going to overrun by lots if I carry on much longer on this one. Um, let's see what treasure we got. So the bracer might be worth equipping. Um, fire damage, extra gold, losing experience. So I see haste and experience, over experience, haste and extra gold. These I'm not replacing because we're getting less set items. So uh, let's salvage this junk. Let's see what Void Corrupts is a daily quest, which is back in the mines. We'll get our gemstones spread. Get them in the right order. Um, so next time we'll start with this quest. Um, I need to go and play A and B next, so I'm not going to record two episodes today. The good thing is because I've already collected this quest, I can run it tomorrow and then pick up tomorrow's quest as well. Um, so as long as you've picked up a daily, you don't necessarily have to run it on that day. You can run it the next day and then get the next day's quest in at the same time. Um, but you can't do that over multiple days. If I was to wait five days before doing that quest, I'll only get the quest that's available in five days time. I won't get all four in between. Um, so we're overrunning level 67. So close to level 70 now. We're looking good. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, put them down in the comment section down below. And thank you very much for watching.